I'd like to ask now our secretary, because she mentioned uh, uh, Muslim-friendly tourism, and this is a growth area for the Department of Tourism and the tourism industry. How are we doing when it comes to our tourism arrivals with the, when it comes to uh, Bimp Iaga, our friends in, from Brunei, Indonesia, and uh, Malaysia, coming and visiting uh, our country to see what's so beautiful about the Philippines? Secondly, also, what are we doing to make uh, the Philippines, which is a Catholic dominant country, more Muslim friendly? Thank you for that, Mr. Chair. Well, it really all begins with improving infrastructure and services that will cater to the specific needs of the halal and Muslim-friendly traveler. And that is why we have recently released a memorandum circular on the accreditation of Muslim-friendly establishments. The good news is that the private sector has pos responded very positively to this endeavor, whereby we recently signed a memorandum of agreement with Mega World. Uh, where they have committed to convert all of their 13 properties across the country to become Muslim friendly. We are also now in coordination with other hotel operators for a similar initiative. In addition to that, uh, we continue with our accreditation of Muslim friendly accommodations, restaurants, and the like, with a view to coming up with specific guidelines for Muslim friendly and halal accredited food establishments. In addition to this, we have held the very first Halal Tourism and Trade Expo, whereby we invited all of our uh, regions in Mindanao to offer their Muslim-friendly tourism products and services in a three-day expo. S from January to December 2023, visitor arrivals from our uh, Islamic and Muslim-populated countries are pegged at 496,724, a remarkable 120% increase from 2022 numbers. Our Muslim majority visitor arrivals also comprised 10.9% of the total recorded foreign arrivals in the Philippines. We recently also brought the biggest Philippine delegation to the Arabian travel market in Dubai, as well as signed a memorandum of agreement with both uh, Brunei and Qatar in the effort to strategically position the Philippines as being Muslim friendly. And in the latter part of this year, we are pleased to let you know that uh, we are hosting the very first uh, Philippines International Health and Wellness Congress, which will bring in uh, buyers from the Middle East and various other countries to position the Philippines as a health and wellness tourism destination in addition to becoming halal and Muslim friendly. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. And that's uh, really good to know because I've never heard this type of uh, initiative from previous secretaries before. An initiative to make uh, Muslim friendly tourism here in the country. And I hope and as the chairman on the Committee of Muslim Affairs, I will push for the National Commission of Muslim Filipinos to, uh, to work together with the Department of Tourism. Uh, at least, uh, at the very least, uh, Mega World, if they're nice to us, we should be nice to them. We should avail of all of these facilities uh, that is being prepared for Muslim Filipinos and also Muslim tourists uh, outside of Mindanao.